hallelujah lift your hands to heaven everyone and let's ask the lord to give us very dramatic encounters tonight go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Something is going to change in your life and destiny, I assure you. Please pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me We are under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us. Yeah. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are all the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. I, am, I, am, I, am. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. I have overcome. I am victorious. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to arise, for revival to return. For the kings to be born, for revival to return. Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh. Ali Ali O, oh, Ali O. Oh, oh, oh. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Are there men of prayer in an state? Pray, let your spirit be open. Are you praying? Sheprente kaparaka tosh koto prante gete balatos. Sakrete bedeke te palada barantas kadi balisa priya haskada. 
Embrekete paka pras katila kapras kusede kete beleka tosia. Shenda brenda kete beleka tosko to brenda kete beleka tapra has kada balada bums. Shapres katish 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 katish. Embrekete parato koto brenda kete beleka te brando sko to balatos. Shapres kete beleka tos kate brenda kate pras kete bata. Ibra kata barotos koto brende ke barotos koto brende ke te. Ibra kata pras kata bela kata branda kata pros koto bala kata. Sabra kata barata kata brende ke te bela kata pros koto. Sabra kata das kata pras kata bela kato pros. Ibra kata branda kata bela kata pros koto bos. Zakata barata bela kata branda kata kata bela kata. Ibra kata brantos koto brando koto. Parakates kade fras kade balantos koto bros. Rakata brende kete bekete brando koto brekete. Imbrekete keto koto brando koto brekete kete. Sagada brende kete balakato brando koto brenda keto koto brende kete. Sabranta kata brende kete brende kete balakato koto bade. Sabrekete bekete brando koto brando koto balakato. Kata brekete balakato. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. She can take the break. Take the break. Don't go to brass. Take the break. Take the break. Take the break. Don't go to bread. Take the break. Take the toast. Sacred as can take. Take the break. Toast. Go toast. In break. Take the break. Take the brass. Go to Marussia. Sacred as can take. Take the break. Take the brand. Take the belly toast. Sabrakete berakete berakete balakatos. Sade brande kete berakete brato kos koto brande ke paraha sade balada. Your life will never be the same. I assure you, your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Sagate berakete skate la baranta kaprende gete balatosia. Sagrete ke parato kagusa prende gete. Five more minutes. Don't be distracted. Imbrakete parato skoto prendo koto prende gete belegeta. Sabrakata baranta kaskata prende gete baratos. Imbrakata prende gete berente kaskoto protosha. Imbrete legete brosa sikete belegeta. Sabrakata barandos kodo balakatos ki adaba. Sabrakete berakete kete berakete brandos kodo balakatos. Sabrakata barikete brande kete berakete kodo brada. Ibrakata kata brande kata brande kete balakatos kete. Sakrite kas kodo brande bras kali brande kata balados. Sabrende kete bele kete pros koto parata balaka to brende kete bele kete. Sakrete kete brende kete bele kete pros kati balatos. Manda praka ta paraka tos koto brende kete bele kete tos kati ata. This is part of the meeting. Sate brende skate bele kete praka tos kate brende kete. Awake thou that sleepest. Manda brende kete paraka tos koto brende kete balata. Embra kata branda gatos, awake thou that sleepest. Manta brakata 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 brakate. Sabra kata branda kata brakata tos koto branda gate. Sabra kata bela kata branda gate bela tosia. Sabra kata bela kata bara tos kati branda kata bala. Hallelujah! 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 Now unto the Lamb upon. 
Hallelujah. 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 Now, please, I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. There are people who will start running by the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I want to release a grace for speed, like physically delay, help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hand. By the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. Everyone here, hold them ushers, please be sensitive. In the name of Jesus, whether you are an usher or not. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every yoke of delay, bring them out. I decree and declare. Let the grace for speed and ambra state. I stand by this apostolic anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Life to your years. Please don't come out at random. It's the Spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the Spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Sakra takata pakata. Grapenta skatelekataba. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here. Every altar of delay that has tied down any individual. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the ushers. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command a release. I prophesy a release by the Spirit of grace. Anambra said something is happening to your soil. Branteke parakatos kadiapa. Embreke te katus kote brendege te. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Everything that was lost. And everything that was stolen. Now hear me. Please listen carefully. Don't be distracted. As I walked into this place. I was hearing the sounds of chains that was what i was hearing chains that have held families down chains that have held many for many generations i'm about to release you by the spirit now hear me at the count of three if god be god as you shout jesus every altar over anambra i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft for the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty are you ready to shout at the count of three bring them out one two three shout Jesus I command those altars release them now release your destinies now gates be broken bars of iron 
broken, gates be broken, bars of iron be broken. Gates be broken, bars of iron be broken, patterns of darkness be broken. Abrande gede beres, skadi balakos, skadi balik beres. Lord, you took my shame away, and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything You know it now Oh man, my Se brande che va la catosca di Barazia. Alleluia. Who is Chidozier? I'm hearing a name Chidozier. Is there someone with that name? We have to hurry up tonight. Who is Chidozier? I'm hearing. I presume there might be many people. You are wearing a yellow like a t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit, like a yellow, is it a t-shirt or something of that sort? Chidoze, is there someone like that? Don't worry, allow the Chidoze to come, but there is a particular one I'm seeing, you are wearing like a yellow t-shirt. God wants to turn your life around. What do you do, my friend? Do we have another mic? Please help us. Let's make it ready. Onyeka. Whose name is Onyeka? I'm hearing the name Onyeka. The season is about to open to you. Onyeka. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm seeing a male in my vision. Please make sure you don't just come out at random. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere, but my friend, there is a name that is above every other name. And God wants to bring visitations for you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There is a lady who will shout loud in the congregation to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that lady here now. Right now, as I'm speaking. A loud shout. father i pray for you i'll just pray for all of you in general there's a lot for us to do in the name of jesus you don't have to kneel by the power that raised christ from the dead there's one of you the mighty power of god is coming on you now one of you in front here 
and the Lord is telling me after that encounter then I pray for all of you in the name of Jesus Christ may your life never be the same I release you the miracles and the blessings allotted for your various families in the name of Jesus step into it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name I pray the Lord is showing me a woman we will be praying for the sick shortly but the Lord is showing me a woman one two three four five years exactly five years you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that your story is about to change please come quickly let's save time hmm. please don't come out at random there's order in the house of God make sure that you understand what we're saying my friend look at me what happened to you who is with the mic please teach the people what to do so that hold on madam look at me this woman shout Jesus out of her now the name of Jesus what happened to you my friend you are from Anambra here yes sir. how long last year June second last year what happened to your leg I had accident. is it a fracture that's what I'm asking no not the fracture I have a, a stroke after the other day I have a stroke do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit yes. this is witchcraft lift the rod lift it up just do what I'm asking you to do lift your lift it up walk 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 lift it up just do what I'm asking you to do walk I rebuke that stroke. Are you celebrating Jesus here? Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Now, these women here, please place your hand. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Listen. This is not just the display of the anointing on a man. This is Jesus Christ visiting a territory to glorify his son. Are we together? Now, I'm standing, God bless you, sir. This healing, this, because I'm looking at you. It was not just an accident. In the vision, I'm seeing you lying down on a bed. Completely half of you has gone paralyzed. This is what the devil wanted to bring. But God has brought your deliverance now. God bless you, sir. Now, I want to pray for all of you. Please look at me. I don't care what the medical report is. You see, every challenge is at the mercy of the kind of grace that confronts it. Challenges are not generic. They depend on what grace confronts it. I decree and declare, most of you, this demonic thing called delay is witchcraft. By the power that raised Christ from the dead right now, I release you now release them now in the name of jesus help them i lose you now now be loose now be loose now in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life i prophesy to you that in the name of jesus return with your miracle children let there be a correction of everything that is wrong biologically a correction right now in the name of jesus christ It is over in the name of Jesus that nine months from now you will return with miracle children to the glory of the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is revealing something to me that I need to pray for you can go back to your seat for this ones I want to pray for you and I want you to bring those people out there is a spirit that is at work in families where it is the women that take care of the men no matter how responsible no matter how supposedly productive something seems to happen that bring the men down the power of God is resting I'm seeing at least eight people right now bring them out I decree and declare in the name that is above all names by that the power that raised Christ from the dead I cast that spirit now. I'm not, no, 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 no. I'm not saying come out at random. Listen, 
understand what happens when I mention a case like this the very power of God will locate you and then if I do ask to come out you bring them out so that we don't make this place rowdy that's all right just leave them since they are already out madam look at me this woman stand up what's your name huh? I want to pray for you you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is setting you free from everything that represents witchcraft I stretch my hands towards you this out of her now in the name of Jesus help her please help her just hold her so we don't just just hold and keep her in one place i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ now the lord is showing me people here whose families have been stagnated in one position you love jesus you are sincere people some of you are even ministers of the gospel there is somebody who is bearing the same name with Dr. Cosmas. Your name too is Cosmas. Come, come out. I just saw that in a vision. That your name, just like this man. Please make sure you don't tell lies. If there is that person here, let me see that person. I want to pray with you. The Lord just ministered to me that there is someone that has that name. And if it happens to be your loved one also, I don't know how we're going to do it now, but I need to pray and respond very quickly. Your name is also Cosmas. God wants to pray for you. And then I'm hearing, who is Vivian? Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. I want to pray a general prayer. But there are three people who will shout right now under the anointing the lord is taking away the spirit of death from their family right now this is this is what i saw in my vision please help them bring them out bring them out the spirit of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Oh, death, where is your sting? And oh, grave, where is your victory? Everyone here as an individual or as a family under the siege of death patterns of death every year every two two years someone must die by the power of in the name of jesus i set those altars on fire now on fire now Who is Vivienne? All of you? Who is from Imo State? Imo State. Where are you from? Imo State. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you, but I want to pray for you. Because where are your loved ones? Your family members? I want to pray for you. So that somebody, I'm seeing somebody from Imo. To Port Harcourt, having a ghastly motor accident, a car turning over, and they are saying survived by. But who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. That that demonic thing that the devil is killing by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare your complete deliverance. And for all of you who have come out by the spirit my friend what do you do huh i'm a public servant i also have a car shop look at me 
go and register a company there is a strange grace for wealth that god is going to bring on you hear what i'm telling you look at me do you believe in the prophetic yes, sir. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands receive that grace right now i launch you i release you into that dimension of grace even by the spirit of god and for all of you who are standing here i stretch my hands towards you may the power of the holy spirit rest upon you and open up new chapters of your destiny in the name of jesus christ receive that grace right now hallelujah please return back to your seat now hear me i'm going to pray a very strange prayer now and when you pick those people i want them in front here there are people i'm seeing an eagle there are people called into a strange order of the prophetic the end time prophetic ministry some of you may not even know i'm about to pray that grace and that mantle is about to rest upon you please help them help them so they don't do careless things please Oh, my friend, what is your name? What do you do? I'm a student. Come and stand here. I want to pray for you. There is a very strange grace that you will carry. But look at me. Be careful with association, right? Love people who are believers and be very serious. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Even as God has helped your father, may God help you and lift you to become a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ please bring those people here i decree and declare right now everyone anointed to be in the prophetic i decree and declare may that man to wherever you are from the front to the back from my left to my right young and old step into that anointing now step into that anointing now step into that anointing now the eyes that see the ears that hear, I ignite your spirit, man. Hear the sights and the sounds of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new season. A new season. A new season for your Christian experience. A new season for your prophetic encounters. The Lord will raise you, mighty men over Anambra, mighty men like the men of David, men of fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hear me, please look up. Please, everyone, let me have your attention. I want to tell you something very prophetic right now. There are three groups of people. God is raising over Anambra State in this season. Write it down and listen carefully. Number one, there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors. Hear me, as I'm mentioning it, that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension. Prophetic intercessors. There will be women of fire, women who understand the art of the altar. Hear me many women intercessory groups will arise by the spirit women who will pray revival men will be affected but there will be many women daughters of zion i ignite your spirit man i connect you with the mantle of the intercessor Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. That is number one. The mantle of the intercessor is resting upon Anambra. Men and women. You will see people who understand how to pray strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of God to bear some of you may be weak but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration intense consecration no more distraction intense consecration the Bible says seeing then 
that we are surrounded by so great a crowd of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and he says to run with perseverance the race set before us may you endure the consecration of an intercessor may you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of God like Anna the prophetess like Simeon the prophet number two the second group of people that God is raising hear me please in a very strange way there are two unique ministries that God is um, I would not say bringing it for the first time but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra State number one is the ministry of evangelism number two is the ministry of the teacher these two ministries this is what God revealed to me he's restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment but there are people anointed oh god pack the crusade grounds again oh god pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land where are the revivalists may that man to rest upon you may that man to rest upon you rest upon your campuses rest upon the entire local government that make up an Ambra state strange evangelism with power with signs and with wonders hear me I'm not announcing this so that you would just sweep it under the carpet is what the Spirit of God wants to do I had a little nap this afternoon please look up I had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session and I saw a very strange vision this is what I saw I saw like a river and then I saw a strange spirit just came out of the river it's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time and it made people to practice certain things and maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away but I saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again and the Lord told me that I should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining called groups and associations because of wealth that there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what I saw father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ I prophesy to the length and the breadth of an umbra state we speak lift up your heads oh ye gates ancient doors for the king of glory is making a triumphant entry over a number of states therefore we prophesy Maranatha come Lord Jesus over the land of a number of states Maranatha upon the campuses Maranatha upon the churches in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace I repeat the teaching grace hear me the only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine if believers do not have a platform regardless the church where the precepts of the kingdom 
are methodically communicated there will be bankruptcy of growth within that territory according to jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors that are according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge therefore i'm praying right now some of you are men of god some of you may seem like ordinary individuals lord where are those who you will open their eyes to the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace of a teacher some of you are heading fellowship groups some of you are pastors already you have struggled with communicating doctrine i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding a new dimension of spiritual understanding churches youth groups apostolic and prophetic platforms prayer groups step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ now listen very carefully i want to give you the third i told you the first kind of people that god is raising are prophetic intercessors the second they are ministers but two ministries particularly the evangelistic and the revelatory grace number three in a very strange way god is raising end time financial apostles that was why god brought dr cosmos many of you may that's why i told you that what he was doing was not an interruption to the program when i sat there i said this man is truly a spiritual man he was not just shaking you it was an extension of something the bible calls the hand of fellowship there are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling you are brought into it by those who carry the grace now i want to pray for you there are many men and women here you came for this meeting listen listen when we talk about the issue of finances i can assure you on time that many people have disappointed god it's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say lord empower me do you know what it means to be a billionaire and yet still love the lord when i saw the man of god rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing i said how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before Jesus when David began to dance at the return of the ark Saul's daughter looked at him and said why are you dancing undignifiably you are bringing shame to your status his reply I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me God had that query and she died a barren woman hear me God is not looking for materialistic people God is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and end respect no God is looking for men and women who you will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust i want to release that grace and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he said believe in the lord your god hear me Anambra State is arguably the business hub of this nation. So you are not naive and ignorant when it has to do with the principles that make for wealth and abundance. Many of you here were raised ethically and culturally to understand money and finances. I'm not here to downplay your pedigree. 
but hear me there is a dimension of wealth that comes through providing values and services but there is a dimension of wealth that comes through the power of the prophetic is an advantage to believers i want to release something upon someone now i'm standing in partnership with dr cosmos on that grace the grace that had, that lifted him and brought him to this position lord there is someone in this auditorium that you are you have anointed there has to be a man and a woman someone you will be using as a financial apostle to fund your end time project spirit of the living god where are these individuals i decree and declare from the front to the back from my left to my right may that mantle that came upon joseph and distinguish him economically may that mantle that came upon solomon i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now the grace to lay up gold as dust and yet your heart still connected to the things of god may that grace rest upon you now hear me some of you by reason of what has come upon you tonight there are people you were not supposed to meet but god will direct your steps and that one connection will open you up to a world of finances may it be so for you in the name of jesus now hear me everyone under the sound of my voice before we get to the next thing to do open your mouth in one minute and prophesy that i am advancing everything that has tied me down at the same level ministerially i decree and declare here at this conference this apostolic invasion over anambra state declare your exodus i move forward in ministry i go forward i break boundaries in the name of jesus is someone praying Someone is praying. Why seekest you the living among the dead? God is lifting you. God is lifting you from that level. They will search for you where you were yesterday and not find you there again. Spiritually. Hallelujah. 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 What do you do? This man yes are you a pastor come your life is about to change you are a pastor in anambra here yes sir you you, you pastor a church yes sir. your own church that god has given you or your resident pastor or you're a resident pastor yes, sir. i want to pray for you i've not prayed that grace yet but i will start with you there is a strange grace for signs and wonders that you are about to move into it will be such a phenomenal display of the power of God I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus you will drink of that wine the Lord will turn you to become like another man in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural display of signs and wonders receive that grace now now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same this is by the spirit of grace
hallelujah i don't know who but i'm hearing before we pray for the sick i'm hearing that there is someone here the lord wants me to minister to is it your father or so you lost that person january january who is that because i'm seeing another death occurring next month and the lord is saying to cancel it who is that person please run quickly who is that your father died yes sir january yes sir. where are you from Obosi, i want to pray for you state. where is this an this anambra state anambra state Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will die until the day is gone. There's not a friend. In the name of Jesus Christ. That plague of death you don't have to kneel by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that sponsors the manifestation of the spirit of death here in this conference we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this woman I'm seeing an anointing come on her this one who is kneeling right now I'm seeing an angel pour oil on this woman on her knees in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's opening a door that has been closed over your life I release that grace right now. May that door be open now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name that is above all names, everything that wants oppression to arise the second time over these families, we cancel it now in Jesus' name. We cancel it now in Jesus' name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. Is there a name like Chide Berem? Is, does it make sense? Is there something like that? Chide, who is that? I just had Chide Berem. It's like you're a woman. I don't know if it's male or female now. Who is that? Please make sure you are not telling lies. Well, can somebody verify that they are telling? It ends with an M. Is M. Does it make sense? If I'm making a mistake, forgive me. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Chide Berem. Huh? I want to pray for you. Because for one of you here, the month of July will be a strange month for your family. Very strange month. God is going to open doors in a way that will surprise you father i pray for these people i don't know who that person is but i stretch my hands right now please don't be offended i'm not a prophet of doom but there is somebody god is asking me i have to pray for you now you were supposed to inherit and i don't mean with all due respect to every culture represented here but I'm seeing somebody, it's like there is a shrine. You are supposed to inherit it. I don't know if it's from your father or something. You, they told you, you are the person. Who is that? You are the one? I have to pray for you. This thing has destroyed this man's life. I must pray for you. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Someone right now is being healed of fibroid. 
I'm, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but I just saw it as I sang this song the second time you will feel movement physically right now as I'm speaking in your stomach you will know that something is leaving you father in the name of Jesus my sister look at me this lady tap her for me shout Jesus as loud as you can I decree and declare can I tell you there is nobody who should be forced to worship any shrine or whatever it is even Jesus Christ knocks at the door of your heart and waits for you to be open nobody should budge into your destiny using whatever guys I use you as a point of contact every evil that this plague is bringing to you to make sure that you have to go and bow to whatever demonic practices in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you free now I declare you free now may the light of the glorious gospel penetrate to all who are concerned and let there be liberty from the practice of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you all return to your seats in the name of Jesus now I want to pray for the sick you are trusting God you came here trusting God for a miracle in your body I want you to lay your hands right there I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit Jesus is able to heal can I tell you when I saw again I would use him Dr. Cosmas jumping here jumping like a little boy some of you who are younger than his last child may not be able to jump up I saw our father Bishop Onugogo jumping and literally jogging to come up here this is 83 going 84 there is a grace not only for longevity but for health I want to pray that grace upon you now please listen carefully there are people here you have struggled with sickness and infirmity one of the ministries that must be restored before Jesus returns is the healing ministry there is never a testimony of genuine revival without a manifestation of the healing power of Jesus can I tell you why the healing ministry is important I will tell you everyone is given the privilege of having one body per lifetime you are only entitled to one body per lifetime no 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 don't bring them out until I ask you to please take them back now this woman I'm seeing is that cancer who brought her is that cancer what is it What's, who brought her? Somebody should give us. Huh? She came herself? I brought her. My elder sister. What happened? She had a heart condition from childhood around from my three from my four. A heart issues over, over through the years. Around 2009, she was flown to the US where she, they performed the heart surgery on her. She came back. It continued up till now. Then before you knew it, I think it affected some of her organs. Her belly started inflammating like... A lot of things that's how she, she just became complicated like this sir. we are trusting we are planning to attend last miracle service but we couldn't attend it even this sunday we are planning to to attend koinonia abuja this sunday this coming sunday and all of a sudden from niger state where i'm serving i just rushed home i took night bus came back this this morning and then we are at the hospital they just told us you are here no plans we didn't know you are coming to work and that is how we that is how we just came here this evening sir Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. Now, look at this. Look at this beautiful lady, a young lady like this, plagued with all kinds of demonic things, not given an opportunity to live a meaningful life. This is how you carry her around? Huh? Yes, sir. This is how you carry her around? Yes, sir. Yes. She's your elder sister. My direct elder sister. Even my brother is here. The first person we should celebrate is you. Not even her. For having that heart 
and that love for her i'm going to be praying for the sick shortly now please hear me you don't have to walk away with any infirmity you came here with tonight it's unnecessary you see let me tell you this before you believe a man find out about him jesus left us his scripture the word of god so that we can go through it and then we'll leave i didn't come alone i've got a message from the lord hallelujah a message unto you i bring and Ambra, hear me tis recorded in his word hallelujah tis only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave is recorded in his word hallelujah this only that you look and leave place your hand right there where you are trusting god for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch please lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch now two things will happen here right now two things we're working with time so that we don't keep you unnecessarily long watch this i am going to pray for you right now some of you even whilst you were under the anointing all kinds of miracles have happened to you i'm going to be praying for you right now and releasing the healing power of jesus please may i request maybe one or two pastors to come stand here with the mic because as soon as i pray for you the moment the power of god touches you and you see that you are healed i am going to request that you check yourself and you run and come and stand here some of you already the power of god has touched you we will take a few testimonies here and then the next thing we'll get into is praying over the request so make sure while you are standing if you are yet to write your request everyone or if you are yet to contact your loved ones to send in their request you still have a minute or two to do that and then the final prayer and impartation and then i will be done hallelujah now please listen no distraction i want to pray for the sick i have been sick myself i know what it means to be oppressed of the enemy but then i know what it means also to experience the victory and the triumph that comes in and through christ lay your hands please everyone if you came with a sick person here here is your moment to lay your hands on those people take your eyes away from the sickness and look up to jesus and as i pray i like you to open up your spirit and shout a believing amen and believe that that which plagues you will give way right now Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Just hold the person there. I'm about to pray. I'm seeing them trying to bring somebody out. No, please. Don't, don't stress anyone. Ushers or protocol, guide them. Just keep the people somewhere there. I will pray for them. You are the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place. There will be a loud shout by a lady right now. Immediately after that shout, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. I don't know why the Holy Spirit does this thing sometimes. It's a ministry of signs and wonders. A loud shout to the hearing of everybody. The power of God will come upon a lady. Now I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, something is happening here. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Healing is happening right now. Help them. My God, please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit at the back of any infirmity, I come in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, and I decree and declare, be lifted from the lives of these people now. And I declare over your body, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I bring you life and healing right now. Help them please. I rebuke every devil of infirmity. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Fibroid, be healed in Jesus' name. Migraine, God is healing migraines. Be healed in Jesus' name. Now, there is someone, I don't know if you have a problem with your mind, madness, or some kind of um, psychosomatic issue. The power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. Heart conditions. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. There's someone, your right eye. Severe pain, you cannot see well. I command that eyes to be open now. Every blind eye here represented, be open in the name of Jesus. Every deaf ear, be open in the name of Jesus. Anyone having any bone condition or any issue that is affecting your mobility, be healed now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone, I don't know if it's boils, like an allergy, something you have in your skin, very terrible condition. The power of God is touching you right now. Are you shouting a believing amen? I'm seeing a lady, the right side of your breast, you have a lump. I command that lump to disappear now. The Lord is healing hepatitis. Hepatitis B, Parakosh Keteperentos Kadia. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There is a condition called gastritis. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing for such a person. There's someone you can walk, but you are having severe difficulty because around your lumbar area here, there is severe pain. This man is a man of God. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Particularly, I'm seeing someone the left side of your ear. You couldn't hear very well. Right now I command that ear to pop open now. I'm seeing someone with pains around your kneecap. Your kneecap particularly. Please help those under the anointing there. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. There is a gentleman, you are not able to lift your hands up to this level. I think, I don't know what is the problem. Lift it up right now. I bring you life and healing. Life and healing. Life and healing. Life and healing. In the name of Jesus. There is someone, I don't know what happened to you. But it's like you don't smell completely. Nothing exactly is wrong with your nose, but it's like your sense of smell. There's something wrong with it. The power of God is resting upon you right now. And God is bringing restoration. Now, whether I mention your case or not, be healed in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone, you, you have a loved one who has kidney issues. You have a loved one who has a kidney issue. Right now, the power of God is touching that person. And if there are those connecting in hospitals across this nation and across the globe, I bring you the life and the power of Jesus right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 
whether you are following life or you are watching a rebroadcast by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed in Jesus name waist pain severe pain around the waist area is being healed right now now even though I have prayed for pregnant women but the Lord is showing me a woman something happens to you every time you take in you go to bed and you have a very strange dream and the next thing you begin to bleed and that's the end of that pregnancy the power of God right now as I'm speaking is resting upon you an end comes to that oppression heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus HIV be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of recurring sickness be healed in the name of Jesus blood disease blood disease be healed in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here who is a sickler I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit we change your genotype now in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me this is what I want you to do my goodness there are so many miracles I already see now I want you to check yourself this moment the moment you find out that something has happened to you I want you to run either to the front here those who are standing wave your hands so they will see you begin to come out right now miracles are happening Anambra stage are you celebrating Jesus creator of the universe what can you do celebrate Jesus what can you do Jesus creator of sex creator of the universe what can you do what can you do keep coming keep coming celebrate what Jesus is doing here you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus, you are able, great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus, you are able, great and mighty God, you are able, coming Jesus look what God is doing hallelujah Sir. now hear me I'm going to pray I'm going to pray for the request shortly so ushers please begin to go around if you are yet to submit your request I want you to wave it up let the usher see it now pass it to the person anybody by your left and right to make it easy for the ushers nobody will read your request please worship team when we take a few testimonies here I want one of you prepare and come and give us one hot Igbo song here. One, one song that will announce to principalities and powers that there is a visitation. Make sure you know what you come and sing here. Are we together now? Hallelujah. Amen. I see people still submitting that. I think we should do it now. Two minutes. One hot Igbo song. Who is, who is handling it? Please help them, help them. Let's save time. Anambra said, Keep coming.
Hallelujah. Please be seated for one minute while you submit your prayer request. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Listen very carefully to the following testimonies. Yes, please. Sir, she said from a tender age. She what, has once, been, once you bring them, just turn them so we can. From okay. A, from a tender age, she has been having severe migraine. Severe migraine. From a tender age. From a tender age. age. But as soon as you prayed. What happened to you now, my dear? Um, throughout today, I've been having. Help us with the mic. Yes. Throughout today, I've been having this aura of headache. I've been having migraine since the past three days. And right now. I am okay, perfectly In the fine. name of Jesus Christ, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. Praise God. I've been jogging, but after a while, I developed knee pain. But while you mentioned the knee, so completely I... jump now. Jump. Any pain? Any pain? Are you celebrating miracles? Now, when, when the people come, just turn them so the congregation can see who is talking. Yes. Let's have somebody there. Go ahead. Very quickly, Pastor. Yes. Straight to the point, anyone who is ready, let's save time. Okay, my name is Kai Dennis. I have this eye problem. I've been using glasses for the five years now. Eye problem? Yes. For how long? Five years. Yes. And right now? Yes, I've got to my Oh, come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I have to get my green since I was in primary four. Because of that, I'm on low court. Oh, you're on low court? Yes. Because of it, yes. and what happened now? Oh Completely. Give Jesus praise for the mighty things that He's doing. Yes, please go ahead. Praise the Lord. I had a stroke last year, March. You had a stroke last year, March. Yes. As you said, I've been undergoing physiotherapy. Yes. And in recent time, we have been working on this my left hand because the paralysis on the left side. The paralysis on the left hand. Yes. So as you were ministering, I fell under the anointing and now I can leave the hand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Put it down, madam. Lift it up again. Put it down. Lift it up. Oh, come on and unbrass it. Are you giving Jesus praise? We rebuke that devil of stroke. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Man of God. Yes, please. Quickly. Praise the Lord. This young man has been having severe Just, knee pains for over one year. Severe knee pain. On both knees. And but right now. It's totally gone. Check yourself. Totally gone. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Sir, the lady said when you prayed for fibroid, she felt a move in her stomach. And she has been having... How long have you had the fibroid? For four years now. For four years. Go to the hospital and check yourself. We declare perfection for you. In the mighty name of Jesus she Christ. Also prayed, yes, she also please. had waist pain for three years and is also totally gone. Waist pain, gone, completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, um, I had breast lump. What's your name, my dear? My name is Faith. Is okay. I had breast lump and... My I've God, are you seeing so twice. many miracles? For a man of God here, beginning from tonight, the next time you climb your altar, in the name that is above all names, the fire that you have seen from this conference, may you take that fire back to your assembly. May you take Abakatoska Everything you have seen here, the grace to reproduce it, let it be released upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. She says she has been operated on the, her breast twice. Oh, they've operated your breast. Talk yes, to us. I have had breast lump. First, they operated, it grew back. Second, they operated, it grew back. And then I noticed. Oh, you had a lump. They operated it and it grew back. What happened right now? I recent, it grew back recently. I was already planning on going to surgery and stuff. But I and what happened? I can't correctly find anyone now. Yes, please. Um, this young man. Praise the living God. 2005, I had a uh, joint dislocation on my right hip joint. Yes. And when you were praying about um, joint problem, waist problem, and bones problem, I felt a great relief. Even this morning, I took medicine while coming down. What here. couldn't you do? I couldn't run. I couldn't my friend, run. Let the devil see you. Give Jesus praise. Are you celebrating Jesus? That is how you will run to your blessings. 
that is how you will run to your destiny and every power that has limited you in the name of Jesus it must give way tonight shout a loud hallelujah yes please praise the Lord my name is Daniel I'm an evangelist I used to have stash in my body the thing used to disturb me even if I go out to preach God you used to have I what I used to have scratch in my body the okay. thing will be scratching me if I take from my tail, if you take my skin all of it it has bleached me if I take what happened tail, to you now now I felt so hot when you were singing and the pain have left me I'm not feeling scratched. completely yes thank you Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ are you ready yes she has Blood vision from childhood. Blood vision. You couldn't see. What's your name? I used to have blood vision. I don't used to see if I have this long side. Long okay. Side but immediately after prayer, I removed. What couldn't you see clearly? I don't used to see far. I okay. Used to wear glasses so that yes. I can pick up things that are far. Right now. But immediately after prayer, I removed my glasses and. I you removed your glasses yes, and you could see now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing would never return to you again. Yes, sir. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I used to have pain on my leg. Sometimes I wear bandages, many drugs. After everything, I'll still be having leg pains. But when the man of God was praying, my leg felt very heavy. And now I'm very free. Completely. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. He couldn't stand. Like oh, that boy that you were trying to bring out here. Oh my God, look at the boy could not walk. The boy could not walk. Some of you saw him there. Look at this. What happened to him? Hold on. What happened to him? In December, he saw Please hold on. Can you help us amplify that, that mic less? In December, when yes. we were writing the exam, he suddenly started uh, dragging his left feet. Yes. And we noticed that the left arm was now like this. So we went to the hospital and he was diagnosed of brain tumor. He was diagnosed of a brain tumor. So he couldn't walk. Yes. What's his name? Suriel. 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 Can he Zuriel. hear me? Suriel, look at me. Come, walk. Walk. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at. Listen. You see. Hold on. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Look at a little boy like this. If the devil can oppress a little boy like this, there is no limit to what he can do if allowed. Stretch your hands, everybody, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ over this, our dear son. And let's declare perfection. We have just about five minutes or so. Very quickly, stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oppression will not arise a second time. You have brought perfection to this boy. It remains so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Uh, praise God. Um, over the years, I had serious waist pain. It's a congenital issue. So I've gone for series of things. I live on drugs because yes. of it. So if I drag too much, I'm in serious pain. I entered there with the pain. When you mentioned the case, I was bending down to look for it. I couldn't find it again. Completely bend down. Any pain, bend down. Any pain. Anambra, are you celebrating Jesus? I want to hear Mama's testimony. Yes, please. So my, my problem is in my stomach and on my nose. I, let me free, uh, take the one of the stomach. There was a time I was having much problem. They say I went to a teaching hospital and they say it is a prolapse that my womb is dropping, that I will do operation. But I didn't do the operation. I started praying, you know, and the thing subsided. But this week, the thing came and started they giving me the same things it was giving me. Yesterday, I couldn't. In short, my stomach is relaxed. And what happened now, I Mama? Free. Completely free. Then the one in the nose, March, March last year. 2021, my, my nose started the swelling. It, it, it will swell and we diminish. We swell and we be burning me so much. Before I came to this program, it, it was doing the thing, but now, hey, I am free. In the name of Jesus, look at Mama jumping and celebrating. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for delivering me from brain disorder I had for seven years. Brain disorder. I, I have 
have been on psychiatric drugs. Look at this. My parents are even planning to. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Listen, listen. Young lady, brain disorder. For how long? For seven years. You went to the hospital. Yes. Verified. Yes. I've done scan and x ray. Nothing. They didn't see anything. I continue to be on psychiatric drugs. But to know how well. But tonight, I. What's that song you see? Turaya Kamara. Come on, you have to pass here. Someone, if you want to help me. the kind of songs I want you people to bring though. I shouldn't be the one teaching you your songs. You still owe me one song. Hold on. Worship team, advise yourselves. You still owe one song here. Yes, sir. I'm a witness to this. We stay, she's my neighbor, twin duplex. We hear her every night screaming, saying, sometimes she could be talking all through the night. Oh my God. So, my wife, my dear, Say everything I ask you to say. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my savior. I have no business with madness. I, I have no business oh, with madness. Oh, come on. Come on, Anambra. Thank you, Jesus. I have no business with madness. They are gone forever in Jesus' name. Let me prophesy to someone. These Egyptians that you see, in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Let's take two or three more. I want to hear the testimonies of these mothers. Yes, please, Sir, very quickly. For a week, he has been having severe chest pain. Severe chest pain. Such that he could not shout. And right now. But right now, he has been shouting. Shout hallelujah. And no pain. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pain gone forever. Pain gone forever. Yes, please. I went to the hospital um, yesterday to see the doctor for ENT because of my truth. Yes. I've been having so much discomfort, especially when I'm praying. Each time I'm praying, I'll have severe pain. So... Are the requests was, here? Please bring them. Bring them. The doctor, if you're yet to submit your request, please wave it so that someone can pick it very quickly. Yes. Ushers, help us. Any other person, please. I wasn't able to see the doctor yesterday, so I heard you are coming. I said I will come here. So I took the money that I will use for the hospital to transport myself here. You came yes. from where, madam? From um, Amobia. I'm, I'm a Catholic, but I, I follow you on Facebook. Yes. So I, I took the money, I came here. I was praying to God for the replacement. In the morning, when I came here in the morning, I was begging God that tomorrow that I will go to the hospital, that I need the replacement. What happened to you in now? Immediately I got home, I got transferred for people owing me. So I came this evening. My throat that was paining me, severe pains. After prayers, my voice will crack, I cannot talk. But I feel, I felt it, no pains. I'm talking so clear and so loud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Sir, for over seven months, somebody has been owing him a hundred thousand naira. Someone has been owing you? He has been For how long? Seven months. Right here. What yeah. happened? Right here. Yeah, he sent you your money. Look at this. Look at this. And I will restore unto you the years that the canker worm has eaten. Let me prophesy over someone. Everything that left you, that should not have left you, by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life now. Let's have two more. Sadly, we cannot take all of them, but here's what I want you to do for me. In tomorrow's session, you can, you can testify. The most important thing is that Jesus came and he visited his people. Hallelujah. Let's have one or two more, very quickly. I had, praise God, I had pneumonia last year, last year, but it was not treated Come properly. Come again. Pneumonia. Last pneumonia. Year. Last year, it wasn't treated properly. But today, I was believing God for my husband. I was even praying for myself. But throughout, whenever I get to a cold environment like this, 
my uh, I'll be having pain in my lungs and then my shoulder blade I can't take a deep breath it's yes. defending me I've been holding my chest but after the prayers I just remembered I had the pain and checked everything check it has now. gone it has check gone. it check it any pain everything has check gone. your hands no pain no hallelujah pain. Okay. and may the Lord perfect your husband since you stood in for him in the name of Jesus yes please hallelujah I was determined that today that I am not going to go home the same way I came. Essence 43 years was broken at this. Come again. I sickle didn't hear that. Sickle cell for 43 Help us. She's under the anointing. What's the issue? You mentioned sickle cell. For oh, sickle cell. For 43 years. 43 years. In the name of Jesus. The My, power of God is still on her. Yes. Um, um, I have this when you mentioned left side lumps. I have it. I've operated it once and it's grown back again. And even when I touched my breast, I feel pain. But right now I can't. I Completely can't. gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's have one or two from this very quickly. Yes. I had a in my right hand. You had a lump too? Yes. Right it now. Is it's disappeared. Yeah. Oh, come on, Anambra. Mighty God. She, she had a, 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 a tooth pain that affected uh, the left side of her brain. Yes. That she kept on feeling so much pain that she cannot lie down with one side of her head. She always lie down with this. But when you made the declaration, she just noticed that her hair was just free and there's no pain all around Completely. Her hair. Completely. She's gone. free forever. Amen. Now, let me hear. Yes, please. Very quickly. Yes. She, uh, he cannot look at the light. This is his glasses. Who? Oh, the gentleman. The man, yeah. How old is he? How old are you? 12 years. 12 years. What happened to him? Now he can look at the light like he... Oh, he couldn't like look at the light. Yes, sir. Can you see me? Yes, sir. How many fingers? Four. Two. One. Five. Come on now. Praise God. I broke my arms as at three years old, and each time it do reoccur that I will feel this pain in this arm that I can't even raise it up or raise it down or do anything with it. As at two weeks ago, the thing reoccurred again. And after the prayers, I can now wave, as at this afternoon, I can't wave this hand like this. Wave it I now. Wave it. Let the devil see you waving it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, for all of you who are left, sadly we may not be able to take the testimonies, but to God be the glory. Marvelous things is done in Anambra. In the name of Jesus, those who are here and those who couldn't make it to testify, and all who have been healed and delivered following online, in the name of Jesus, your healing miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Please everyone rise and stretch your hands towards the altar. We are praying right now. In one minute, I want you to begin to pray. Father, this is the moment where you visit me. This is your prayer request. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Go ahead and pray. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us. We are praying now. Philippians chapter 4. Please help this gentleman and ushers. Just bring this request. Any protocol, come up and pick the request so that you drop them properly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your requests be made known. Don't assume that God knows it. Let your requests be made known. Everyone here, you wrote this by yourself. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Go ahead and pray as I bow my knees to pray over your request. Someone is praying. We just have two or three minutes for this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. 
the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. One more time. You Stretch your hands in one minute and begin to declare. Father, the only thing that I will carry from here is answers to prayer. I will never have to write this again. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. and declare that every request written here will never have to be written as a request again shout a believing amen hear me anybody who says over his dead body for God to visit you like this the earth will open and swallow them Every human vessel who must come into partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for the answers in this request, I compel their ministry over your life. And hear me, prophetically, I stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under the feet of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me very quick. I didn't tell him, but the Lord has put it in my heart. I am going to request our father, Bishop Onubogo. He's going to come and stand here in his capacity as a priest and one who 84 years never visited a hospital. Never been admitted in a hospital. He's going to speak to us, his children, everywhere around the east god has granted me the privilege i cannot begin to tell you about this awesome man of god alongside a number of ministers here that everywhere god sends me provided is around the southeast they will inconvenience themselves and make sure they are there this is why he came at 84. there is a grace that this man carries that somebody's destiny is about to receive now please hear me as he come whether he speaks in Igbo he speaks in tongues let your heart be open believers are usually um I think it was it was it was Reverend Obi that said that there, there is need no it's Dr. Cosmas there is need for sensitivity people carry graces but hear me as I prepare to ask daddy to come there is no need cajoling you apostle i need jesus i need him now 
I need him fast. There are people who are here, you know by the Spirit that God has been beckoning on you. There is another category. You are saying, Apostle, I remember giving my heart to Jesus. But as it is right now, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration. These two groups of people, I'm going to count one to three. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand in front of me here. Are you ready? I begin my counting. One. Are you celebrating salvation? Run to Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back The cross before me The world behind me No turning back Keep coming to Jesus No turning back The cross before me The world behind me No turning back No Come quickly win that war final in your destiny. Don't say I'm ashamed, or don't say there are too many people that you know today that if the trumpet sounds, it is not heaven you are going to make your way to Jesus. Thank you, oh my father, for giving us your son. And leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done. I appreciate every one of you. If you are still joining them, join quickly. And those of you who are watching by television or watching by way of internet, here is your opportunity from Nigeria, from America, from Europe, Africa. Here is an opportunity for you to know and to meet Jesus. Right from Anambra states to the nations of the earth, we bring you Jesus, the life of God. We bring you Jesus, the son of the living God. I salute and congratulate all of you here. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. Others are rededicating your life to Jesus. The Bible declares that whosoever comes to him, that he will in no wise cast away. Can I tell you, true revival starts with genuine repentance and conversion. When people are not converted, it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways, that I will hear from heaven and I will heal their prayers and heal their land. Lift your right hand, all of you who are in front. I want you to say this loud and clear. You are not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, shout it. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I believe in you. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am a child of God I am saved washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I am a child of God is someone preparing bishop so that bishop will come and make the decrees even if it's just in a minute he's going to declare that fatherly blessing now i pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven say amen, amen. i call you by the authority of scripture recipients of eternal life amen. 
and in the name that is above all names everything that is not of God I command it to give way right now in Jesus name I pray amen and amen welcome to a new life in Jesus name I pray okay, just an information for you okay please listen carefully you've just done the first step second step Friday 5 p.m. let me explain salvation to you it will help you many of you who went back it's not because you are not good it's just because you didn't know the right things so 5 p.m. Friday at Garden of Grace Church that's step number two if you are serious you'll be there Garden of Grace Church is at Regina Shelley the same boundary with everyday supermarket just stop Regina Shelley walk up to everyday supermarket it's the same wall that separates it there's a mango tree there come there I will explain things that will make you stay with Christ the rest of your life hallelujah did you hear so just what you will do now maybe after the prayers just go here okay go here then drop your information make sure you drop okay the very quickly here's what may I plead that we also bring up uh, the PFN chairman okay it was in my spirit to also have him speak these are fathers over the land and you are about to receive something that will open a new gate in your life we have about two three minutes maximize it now for all of you here this is what I want you to do please I want you to feel this legibly as feel it as truthful as you can who do they give it to yes ushers now the ushers. moment you are done feeling it so make sure you pick up one the moment you have one sleep please go back to your seat rejoicing and then um, when you feel the sleep don't go with it please just wave it and hand it over to an usher and then Friday Friday by 5 p.m. 5 PM at Garden of Grace Church. At Garden of Grace Church. Every and then you take Supermarket. it from there. Let's celebrate Every them as they go. Now, please rise up on your feet. You may have heard me say prophetically that I am a product of many anointings. I am a product of the speakings of fathers by the privilege of God's grace and the relationship he has provided and afforded me with the fathers of faith in this nation I've had the honor and the privilege to be spoken over and I know what has happened in fact um, I think is is dr. Cosma still here he's gone sir please may I plead that you come and join us let's make this equation complete even if it is one one minute to just make decrees as touching all of the graces represented here so we'll do it in this order we'll give our father the pfn chairman the room to speak over your life please receive every blessing as coming from the lord hallelujah and then we will give our father dr cosmos the opportunity to speak over your life hallelujah and then our father bishop would speak over your life a fatherly blessing that everything that is locked up from their heart now you are not only receiving for yourself in your mind bring your family here in your mind bring your business here in your mind bring your ministry here are you ready to receive yes sir in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that what started today in your life every miracle every encounter you have had here tonight it is going to be from glory to glory Amen. today is the least you can be from now onwards as i raise my hands over your life over your career over your family over your job let there be multiple explosions for you in the name of Jesus from now onwards Anambra State will become an amazing and awesome place for you to do business for you to live your life for you to do whatever you want to do from here you will fly to nations from here you will go to cities and everywhere you want to reach from today Something new has begun in your life in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I join my faith with the father of faith, an apostle to our generation, to send you back home tonight a different person in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the grace of God that everybody that knew you on the negative will not die but will live and see you in the positive. By the anointing that is upon me as a servant of the Lord. Oh God, if you ever hear me, hear me now. Especially those who made a commitment to Christ today. I did this 49, 48 years ago. And this is the best decision I ever made as a human being. Go back home. When you get back, anybody that cares to know, tell people you are not the same anymore. Don't stop to testify. Let them know that something happened. And they ask you what? Tell them in plain language. Jesus has come into my heart. Father, I pray for these people. Oh God, I want to meet them on the path of success and progress. More importantly, when it is all over, may we meet on the other side of the river. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, hang on. Let me just do something prophetic. I, I don't know this our father, this man of God here in front. But while that was what I was communicating, the Holy Spirit told me that I should plead with him to come, please, and join us, this man. Yes, sir. I don't know you, but please, can let's honor him as he comes. Is that the best you can do? This is the body of Christ declaring over the territory. May God bless and honor you, sir. Yes, sir. Please receive every prophetic speaking that comes from him as from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, there are times and there are seasons. In agreement with all the graces represented here, I join my faith with theirs. And we declare, in the name of Jesus, that the glory we have begun to see in this place is not ending here. We are impacted by it and we live here to all our spheres of influences to begin to impact our world in the name of Jesus. Having met with Christ, we carry light. And this light we have encountered is increasing. And as we grow in the knowledge of the Father and His Christ, grace and peace is multiplied unto us. Daily, in the name of Jesus. We are never remaining the same. We have been partakers of the grace upon Apostle Selman. And we have testimonies that authenticate his apostleship. What you encounter in this meeting will never elude you. In the name of Jesus, go and shine. The word is under your feet because of Jesus in the name of Jesus.
Anambra, peace be upon you. Anambra, peace be upon you. Anambra, peace be upon you. Whatever has been terminated in the past by virtue of men who interceded for this nation, for this state, for Oka, he shall not raise his head again. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. ago I was ministering in Scotland and I came back from an outreach and I believe those my friends are watching from Scotland tonight they let me rest in an upper room which is one room in their house as I was resting, I felt the presence of God. And the impression in my heart was I was in the, in the, the presence of 2,000 angels. Since I arrived for this meeting, I have been feeling the same way. And then we are singing a song. I will stand on and pray for you. Pray for you, my friends listening, and brothers and family listening over the air. And those of you here, I heard the angels sing. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God that was given, that was given. For you. And suddenly I felt the presence of 2,000 angels. Tonight, you depart here under the guidance of the angels released from heaven. And this question of sudden death over an amber state is halted now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause you to surrender your guns. To surrender your plans of taking away lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. At 84, look at me. Still standing straight. No glasses. Never been admitted in the hospital. Never had surgery. I pray for you. I pray for you. That is your portion. Please, I have nothing to do with it personally. I'm only sharing. Uh, 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 
a, a testimony of what God has done. I, Obi Udezwe Onobogo, have never had headache on this head. I don't know anything called headache. I pray for you. Your headaches around your physical body, around your businesses, around your family, halted now in the name of Jesus. I have appetite every time to eat. I sleep well. I still wake up at 2 a.m. I'm sorry to reveal all this, but the spirit at my age she wakes me up at 2 a.m. to pray receive grace now receive grace now none of you will die before your time well I have five children and 11 grandchildren my first grandchild, I have told him, I will see my great grand from you. <laughs> Lift up your hands and receive. You will see your own children grow. You will see your grandchildren. Your blood will never be found on the highway. I seize the arms or the, the, the whatever one has intending to attack you, it will not function. Listen to me. Even tonight, you go back to your residences in peace. Under the provision of the Lord. Under the provision of the Lord. He has provided for you. Hunger is not your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift up your hands above your heads. You will celebrate your 84th birthday. I mean, the louder amen you shout, the more it works for you. Hey, 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 I'm not done, I'm not done. Some of you here will celebrate your 87th year. You will go, you will go to 90 years old. And if the Lord tarries, you will see 120. Yeah, as this man of God, the apostle, is fond of critically celebrating elders, eldership will be his portion. I have prayed to the Lord. I want to go to his wedding. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Anambra, 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 Southeast, Southeast. Are you still here? Since he loved us to this level, we will also see him, his wife, his children, and his grandchildren. Finally, I stand with the first citizen of the church in Anambra State and a known man of God in this city and then an apostle this man is, in a, is an apostle in the marketplace 
Nebana Zoafia Nebana Ajoego Nebana Jordima He is an apostle And I agree with them In declaring The best of you Is yet to come Now Now South East Give the Lord The loudest praise tonight that have happened here let me pray for your spiritual life everything that has eaten up your prayer life everything that has eaten up your word study life everything that has eaten up your passion and your zeal for God I speak over your life let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now Hear me, any association or group of friends that you have in your life now that will not allow you love the Lord, know the Lord, serve the Lord, right here, we separate you from those associations. I stand under the grace of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ and the eldership of Anambra. I speak to the two lift gates of this city. Oka! Anambra, hear the word of the Lord. May the tulip gates of this city, Ephata, be open now. Be open for productivity. Be open for evangelism. Be open for development. Be open for business. The sound of untimely death will never be heard in this region again. The sounds of kidnapping, the sounds of bloodshed, the sounds of terrorism, and anything related to it will no longer be heard in your soil. Finally, to the pastor, his wife, and the membership of Garden of Grace, let me speak over your life in the presence of this great man. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I stretch my hands towards you pastor obi and your dear wife in the name of jesus i measure a thousand cubits for you in the spirit move to deeper levels may the lord multiply your influence in this land and all those connected to this vision who have labored in prayer labored in giving may the lord reward you in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands to Jesus, every one of you. When physical victory manifests, it's because that victory has been established in the spirit. Please hear me. It is not when your job manifests that God answered you. <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished, you will find out that you can wake up in the morning. That's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to. There are a few people who may walk back. Maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything, you know, and they may feel disappointed. You hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit, that is it. Goliath died in the realm of the spirit. David killed Goliath before he met him there. And he said, Mr. Man, you are standing just as a mass of interruption. I'm going to bring you down even with a stone. So when we are going to pray now, please, I want you to pray with seriousness. There are things that you wrote. There are sicknesses in your body. Can I tell you, we are in the days where headache can become cancer, thanks to demons. You will feel a little headache, something that you will just say, ah, it's paining me. The next time the pain goes to this side, then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely 
until you stop it by the power of the Holy Ghost how about businesses that are going down from January your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank God for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time I assure you if you're a ministry here as a man of God it is not just by invitation poster social media those are physical things and they are profitable the real victories in the realm of the spirit Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? And added two more years. One man's forgetfulness added another man's pain. Hallelujah. How about someone who just received some money that should bless the family? and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to UK to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or used something else with money and you find out that uh, let me tell you Africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no, no way, not in this house. And the devil is just standing, stealing, killing, destroying. In the name of Jesus, tonight by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Paraka In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night goes down this night goes down this night the same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my PA what happened I had a dream and I saw you giving me water and in my mind I interpret it to mean you're a good person ah life do you know I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit I'm a person of principles there are it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit but let me tell you in order of priority the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit that means for anything physical it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the Lord opened my eyes and I saw something I saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that a bike pass and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again 
and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are God gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that I'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father, like it happened to this, and said, no, it will not happen to me. I went to school. That's not how the realm of the spirit works. You stand there. Listen, there is a way you open fire at the devil. Huh? You have drawn a line. Anything you permit will grow. Hear me? Anything you permit will grow. You permit failure, it grows. You permit the spirit of death. It takes one step towards your house. You turn back. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is how believers are taught to maintain victory. Hallelujah. Apostle, but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up I don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of Jesus I came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of Christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost someone is praying every mysterious sickness roaming around my body i curse you by the god of heaven spirit of death i call you by your name and i banish you from my life banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed. Number one, it says, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. As I mention them, I will lead you to pray. This is the miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that by mercy, let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me i activate the blessing upon my life i activate the blessing i decree and declare blessed in the city 
blessed in the country, blessed in Abuja, blessed in Lagos, blessed in the United Kingdom, blessed in South Africa, blessed in the United States, in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray. Pray the blessing of the Lord. Pray it upon your spirit. Pray it upon your children. Now pray it upon the works of your hands. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the country. Blessed shall be your needing trough. Go ahead and pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. All the overflows, make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, the blessing is upon me. 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 Speaking loud and clear. Speaking loud and clear. Speaking louder than any curse. Speaking that louder than any demonic thing. One more minute, you are praying. Shateke pakato safras katebekata. Kaprateke parako shagates. The blessing is upon me. Prospering the works of my hands. The blessing is upon me. Manifesting as signs and wonders. The blessing is upon me. Turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder. The blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peketos kata frendeke parusiata. Embra kato kapres kata peketos. Sobantos shoto balekatos. Ibra to seveze kate belekatos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out and then noah reared an altar you find that in genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22 he, he carried some of the animals that were left some of the animals came two by two some of the animals came seven by seven. You will see that even some that were left, Noah still slaughtered them and they died. But watch what happened. When God wanted the earth to increase again, give us Genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. I want to show you the power of the blessing. What did God do to Noah? Same thing he did to Adam. You see, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful. Does that sound like something he had said before? multiply that means every time god sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer that means in god's mind what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful what it means to be blessed is to multiply what it means to be blessed is to replenish you are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, Father. as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful 
multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life but the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons you can call the name of your children you can call the name of every company everyone who is under your care declare upon them be fruitful multiply be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2. It says, Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes. Why? Verse 3. Hallelujah. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Look at me. Do you know what it means to be enlarged? To be enlarged means to grow. That's how we grow. Is that true? We grow through enlargement. There are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally. You look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years, and they, are still, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually. This level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shafragates. Krasagata farasko sebelegos. Embrakato shafrandes kalebash. Kratege belegates sefraskati balakos yata. Enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge coin on here, enlarge coin on here, 
enlarge my spiritual life enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah in Jesus name don't be tired you'll soon sit down but listen please look at me what is the difference between a one room and a duplex what is the difference space am i right on that what is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion as you call it space what you can do in a one room what you cannot do in a one room you are able to do it in a duplex am i right on that now just respectfully speaking if you have one room everything is there the kitchen is there the whatever is there are we together smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint it does not give you the opportunity to be efficient are we together now so imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that Solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what 10,000 cannot do 1 million can do are we together now yes oh my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000 and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000. But when God enlarges you, you have more space. You can even be a blessing. What this level of anointing can do, cannot do, this level of anointing can do. Are we together now? Yes. This level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members. Not to insult, but that is what it can do. It cannot bring you a global ministry this way. No. No, you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry. Can that work? But they are all tires. So when you bring that small tire, how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small? Because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time. It's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic. You see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires. And sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole, those cars can come and pass as if they are, they are not even aware. That's what enlargement does. When you are limited, when you are constrained, five children, you are living on 50,000. It's not a blessing, no. Let me tell you the truth. Not in our world today. You are anointed, you pray, you have to pray for one week for headache to go. You can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way. I told you, people don't follow men, they follow results. When you are a man that commands that result, it will look like they are following you. But what they really follow are results. It takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men. enlarge my coast enlarge my I've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time I want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living God enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name
please pray. Hallelujah. Number three, let your hand be with me. Hallelujah. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You are going to pray. This is what is responsible for advancement. This is what is responsible for speed. When the hand of the Lord comes upon men, they refuse to stay, not just at that level, but even in that location. It is God that moves men. When you find stagnancy, what you need is the hand of God. The hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Shanika paruka tebash. Kratos ketebelekotia. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes. By your hand. Advance me by your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand. By your hand. By your hand. Advance me in ministry. By your hand. Advance me in every area of life. Someone is praying. Advance me. Advance me by your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 And with the last prayer point. It will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can. Fire is going to begin to fall in this place now. Give us the last prayer point. Keep me from evil. Listen. The psalmist said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be. And thy buckler. Verse 5. It says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Verse 6. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. 7. A thousand shall fall by thy side. And ten thousand by thy right side. But it shall not come nigh thee. Last verse. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Listen. Do you know what it means for God to keep you? To keep you means, Lord, I will not die before my time. Hallelujah. I was listening to a video this morning by late Archbishop Benson Idahosa. And he was teaching somewhere in the States... And he was just sharing how that when God gave him an instruction in Benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and God gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus. And he said he prayed in the spirit of fear came. What if you would die? He said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now I'm saying this because many of you do not know you are a man of God here I want you to listen daily daily 
there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that I will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they'll continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father, father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying me to failure to death to weakness to defeat right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray every covenant Every covenant tying me to death, witchcraft, defeat, yokes, ordinances. No matter how long be broken, no matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken, every covenant that says people will not rise, that says people will not shine, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown. Alabara. Oh, glorious God, say, oh. to be very sensitive listen there was a time in my life I have met angels I have encountered demon spirits by the privilege of God's grace I have encountered Jesus the living Christ the realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path I know a bit about how spiritual things work the first time I would encounter a demon spirit, I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place. And I was praying and going close to that place. And the next thing, I moved there and there is a solid being standing. This is not vision. And the only thing he said was, get back. And when he said that, I looked and I spontaneously, I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again. And I said, what is this? The next time I would have this, I was praying. I think I was in a period of fasting and praying or so. And then my room, the ceiling just disappeared. And then I'm seeing this giant creature it looks like a dinosaur very mighty the eyes will be like this the size of one man's head you can imagine my head being the eye so imagine how the head will be and it had a long tail 
but that tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive red eyes and it was looking at me and it says so you think you will how did what I can't even remember what so you think you would bring God's people into abundance I remember and I said ah so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies they don't know they think it's joblessness they think it's just family conflict they don't know that these are wicked spirits by reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call I have been exposed to visions I have encountered spirits some of the songs that you hear us sing I didn't write them these were songs that I heard from the realm of the spirit and I brought it down and wrote it so when you see me minister to people I'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance there are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men and they may not know ladies and gentlemen whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that this woman kept going hoping that things would change if spirits can bind men can they bind businesses if spirits can they bind destinies and Jesus looks at the woman and says woman thou art loose from your infirmity she did not even know what happened suddenly a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years that woman would have remained like that some of you have had some conditions around your life um, it's like that I just feel dizzy sometimes I grew up like that you are like that woman that has been bound but Jesus came and he said no matter how long it has been the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the Bible was 38 years we don't know how long it took Job the Bible does not record time but at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years then there was 12 years but when Jesus came and said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound lo all these years that means in Satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years I will be free you will never be free because of the passage of time you will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power the name and the blood so listen I'm saying that so that as I begin to minister now will be very fast that every condition you know long-standing conditions don't tolerate it and say it's been there this bad luck has followed me since I was five years now I'm 50 years it's like that anytime people want to do things make sure it gives way this night the man was sitting at Bethesda John 5 the Bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stare the waters but the man had no one to help him and then Jesus comes to him the Bible says he was there for 38 years calls him an impotent man did his father not give him a name what was his name there are many of you your condition has swallowed your name that people only identify that guy that family that has bad luck as if they don't have a name that woman whose children are all miserable that one who's that that church that does not grow the impotent man and Jesus said no this is not how it works you notice all these sick people the Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression it it does not just ruin your life it ruins your name notice the woman with the issue of blood no name the man at blind Bartimaeus, no name the man at the pool no name because every time the devil attacks among the many things he's looking for is your name your honor is in your name your reputation is in your name i'm saying this because i want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing you may not have something wrong with your life but your condition has swallowed up your name honor that god has given your family is about going down because it does not look it looks like there are conditions 
that have stained your name hallelujah every time you see kings rise the Bible will always call their name even if they were given other names but when you find people plagued with conditions you hardly hear their names the woman with the issue of blood the man born blind the man at the pool blind Bartimaeus the man who was sitting at gate beautiful look at that oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name because you see part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name I will bless you and I will make your name great if you are great alone your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit when you go you go with your greatness but when your name is great anybody who comes under that name can continue being great today we mention names when you talk about names of you know American presidents great people today they are long gone you see but their names so when Satan wants to destroy you he does something to your name are you ready to pray so when you see me minister deliverance it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing no 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 deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling it's about taking authority are we together now that which is is fighting all of these things that, as I mentioned in your life they clear out of the way fighting your ministry your health your life and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance the Bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession deliverance happens upon Mount Zion that is the proper place for deliverance I'm, I'm ready to pray now you will not do anything yet just just listen to me you see the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God you don't assume this is what the Lord is speaking to my ears and he's telling me now that as in this silence that the Spirit of God there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things and the moment that happens the power of God is going to start moving please I want you to bring those people here you will not need to shout I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting I'm seeing like a weed you know how a farmer is removing weed this is what I'm saying father you have spoken and in the name of Jesus I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice please when you just bring those people out ushers or all those who need to help, help them let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time in the name of Jesus Christ everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted my God I'm seeing fire in this place in the name of Jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out ah. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. If anyone is under the anointing close to you, just bring them out so that we'll save time. Bring them out. This is an instruction that the Holy Ghost gave. You will never stand, I'm telling you. If, this, if, there, is, if there is something to be uprooted, there is an energy, a, a force from heaven. Please bring them. Men and women. My Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God, that tree would be uprooted. That's what God is doing right now. Uprooting by the Spirit of God. Uprooting by the spirit of god you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder walking power of jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful
faithful among thousands. Bring them out. Yeshua. Hallelujah. Now, something mysterious is going to happen here now. There are people, watch this. I just saw fire through the congregation. Please help them. There are people who will start running. This is not speed. This is, this is a deliverance. But they will start running. Hold them and bring them to the front. This is not speed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers heba shaba sada veleketosh Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me talk to those outside. Not the other overflows, just outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I want to pray for you. The Lord is showing me something. I want to pray for those outside right now. Lift your hands. At the count of three, those outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name Jesus, the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance. Just the overflow outside. As I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? Yokes of ancestry. You are about to shout the name Jesus. My God, I'm seeing fire falling already. Yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus be released now be released now be released now be released now business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name victory. 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 We don't have all the time. Um, my, my intention is for us to finish on time. So I'm not going to be doing too much of um, but I'm hearing the name victory. Wherever that person, who is victory? Your name is victory. I want to pray for you. God has remembered your family. I release grace upon you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Abdullahi? I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi. You would think that this is supposed to be a northern name. Abdullahi. I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you, that is searching for your head, in Jesus' name, let it rest on you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rachel, I'm hearing the name Rachel. Please make sure you are organized. Don't, don't, don't cause confusion. Once, if I call you, if it's not your name, you can stand anywhere there. I, I'm going to pray for those in front. Rachel, who is Rachel? Hello, Shali, Ke, Krosasia, Hasanda, Balakos, Yevesh. There is a family that God is delivering. Somebody's going to shout right now. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a spirit because I'm seeing that this week that is coming, I'm seeing written obituary and there is a family. I'm not a prophet of doom. God sends, redeems. There is somebody right now, that spirit, in the name of Jesus, I know you by name and I declare, let that family go now. 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 The family of Rachel. Let that family go now. Let that family go now. Your father is a police officer. Your father is a police officer. Where is he? Where? Huh? Are you from the east? Yes, sir. Enugu? Yes, sir. Where is he? It's in Enugu. This is what God is revealing to me. Listen to me. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing something happening and they are going to fight some people, you know, people like are fighting and I'm seeing something that is not good. But in the name, I don't know you, oh my, my friend. And I'm not, you believe what I'm telling you? Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, you reveal to redeem. We, we are standing here, but in the name of Jesus, we pray that anything that wants to destroy, and I use him as a point of contact, because what God says to one, he says to all. Anyone here, you have your loved ones, either in the police, DSS, military, air force, I declare supernatural preservation. Supernatural preservation. They shall not die. They shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, may the Lord preserve your father. In the name of Jesus. This lady kneeling down, lifting her hands. I'm seeing you wearing a police cap. Stand up. Who is it you or who? Is there anybody around your life? I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will bring you to have any kind of demonic trouble that you need to go to the police station right now. I'm seeing fire from your feet to your head. I command it to give way now. Because I'm seeing a police cap on her head and I'm wondering what this is for. There's someone in the worship team. I just saw light. I don't know who that person is. The fire of God. The Lord is saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. This, this mystery of evil that has sat on your family is coming to an end. We declare it an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There is a mother here. One of your prayer requests is for your daughter 
who has not given birth. Now, I'm not saying if you are trusting God. This is a mother who came and she's trusting for her daughter. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, you have come, you have stood in for your daughter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let your daughter return with her children rejoicing. Now, all those in front here want to rebuke these wicked spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every legal access Satan has over your life, I declare it is broken now. And Satan, I declare as one sent by God, release your destinies now. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, out of their destinies, out of their lives. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing someone. You have a very interesting condition. You can snore from, like if you are lying down there, somebody who is a long distance from your place can hear you snore. Many people have told you this thing and you felt very, I, I don't know why God is showing me this, but it's a condition that God wants me to pray for you for. So that one day you don't lie down and then don't, don't just wake up. This is a serious medical condition. Is there someone like that? The Lord is ministering that to me. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I want to pray for that person. And then, number two, very quickly. Madam, thank you for your honesty. Thank you. Let's celebrate her. Takes a lot of courage. Please stand up, madam. I want to pray for you. The devil is a liar. How long has this been? It's a long time. Very long time. Yes, sir. My friend, I want to pray for you. I don't know if there's a medical condition for it. I'm sure, I presume there might be. But my job is to do everything God has asked me to do. So I'm going to pray for you. The devil is a liar. That satanic thing must leave. Listen, to the silliest of things, huh? when you see God bring a word like this, it's because someone's life depends on it. And for all of you who are here, thank you for This is a family of faith, you see. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Father, just, can you just make contact with your, your neck just as a point of contact? Father, you reveal to redeem. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands now. Let that demonic thing go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it leave never to return again. Something is leaving this guy, this guy on white. I'm seeing something like a rope on your neck. Out of him now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring you life, I bring you healing. That choking feeling is not an ordinary snore like you are just snoring because you did not bend well. This is a satanic thing and you don't pray for them, they will go to bed one night and that's how it will be over for them. But thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph. In the name of Jesus, let it be over now. In Jesus name. God bless you. Now, I don't want you to feel embarrassed. There are two cases that I want to pray for and then I pray for healing. The Lord is ministering this to me and I don't want you to feel bad. There are people, um, if, if you are to come out here, you have just two minutes to come out very quickly. Any and all kinds of satanic addictions, addictions that want to kill you, any kind of addiction whatsoever that has overwhelmed you and God has been speaking to you and you are saying, Apostle, I want to break free from this. I want to give you two minutes. Come and stand before the Lord right now. While they are doing that, let's begin to pray. Don't sit back there when you know that God wants to bring you victory. Once and for all. Drunkenness, pornography, masturbation, every kind of addiction. Some of you may be on some things that you take to be high addiction even stealing can be an addiction there are people who steal things they should not steal biro paper because of that you go to the police station it's not worth it so it's a spirit come once the space is full just stand where you are in fact you can stand there for now you can you can imagine this if this is all that we do today it was worth it. 
Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender I see day after day. teach you a principle look up everything God gave man God gave man control over the moment you cannot control it again a spirit has hijacked it are we together now now we're asking this our precious people to come and stand we're not listen I don't want you to feel ashamed for whatever reason no you are standing before Jesus this is the house of God addiction has nothing to do with whether you are good or bad some of the people standing here are some of the nicest people you can imagine. I have prayed for people who will steal anything. Even when you are holding hands praying, they will still carry something. It's a spirit. There are responsible people who are held bound. Some of these addictions you see have been transferred. And, and, and let me tell you this. God must raise people with this anointing and send them to the police force, the correctional centers, because there are people, no matter how long they stay there, what will really set them free is the power of God. So I celebrate all of you for summoning the courage to come. That's what Jabez did. He had to open up himself and say, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, you've been stealing, you've been stealing, you've been this and that. This is a lady that I'm seeing. There is nothing you cannot steal. And you know, I've told you, this thing works like word of knowledge. You can hide your money under the carpet. They will stand and look, look, and just go under the carpet and pick it. Parents, hear me. Some of this supposed stubbornness of children is not like, it's a, it's a demon. Do you know that there are spirits that make children stubborn? The moment you say go left, that spirit will not let them rest till they go right. I want to pray for you. This is my work. Oh. That demon, that satanic devil must leave you now. Our time is gone, but I'm going to pray for you. Father, these ones have come before you, the God of mercy and the God of all grace. Many of them have been tied down by all kinds of things. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. All kinds of addictions right now. Satan, I speak to every spirit that has been assigned to hold you down. Some of them are spirits of inheritance. Some of them all kinds of diabolic things. At the count of three, I declare you must let them go now. Now at the count of three, I'm going to release the power of God on you and that devil will live and live forever. Satan, take your hands of God's people at the count of three. One, two, three, out of their lives now. Be free, be free, be free, be free. I break the power of addiction. I break the power of addiction. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ out of their lives now make sure you are praying for them those who are the congregation in the name of Jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now listen many of you will come and stand here and testify and you will say finally God has given you freedom once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lay your hands. Everyone who is trusting God for a healing miracle, very quickly, I want you to lay your hands. Lay your hands there. And let's, let's clear the way for those who are returning back so that they return back very quickly. 
You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are good. Lay your hands and believe Jesus for a miracle right now. Please don't go back the way you came. Place your hand there. I want to pray for you. You've heard the testimonies of people by the power of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of satanic things. I'm about to pray for you right now. I'm seeing a lady who is coughing out something in a vision. I mean, just like somebody just coughing. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, already I pray for that person. That satanic planting in your body. Right now, I declare that it comes out now. Please lay your hands. I want to pray for you. You are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Father, you have granted us the grace to see the sick healed. Some of you are lifting up the pictures, lifting up your phones. I see people who are connecting. There are many, many, many hospitals. Did you know it's so humbling to know the amount of clinics, hospitals that connect to the miracle services and the tremendous testimonies that have come out. And for those of you who are connecting right now in any hospital, you are connecting for a patient, probably a patient that is already dying, cancer, any demonic thing. Some of you are standing in for your loved ones. You may not have the time to take testimonies tonight, but in the name of Jesus, I want you to believe. He gave us this anointing and it's to be an extension of his healing power to the nations. As I pray, I want you to believe by faith and shout a loud believing amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a breast lump. Right now, the power of God is touching a lady. I'm seeing a healing. Help her please. The Lord is healing a breast lump. That devil is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing an eye condition I'm seeing the power of God touch someone your eyes be healed now I'm seeing someone you are not able you are not able to go to the toilet easily I don't know what medical condition that is. This has affected you right now. You even need to go and see a doctor. This is not just pile. It's, it's like you're not able to stool properly and it's a very demonic situation. Whether you are here or following online, let the healing power of Jesus touch you right now. There's someone, you have what we call nose bleeding. You can stand in the sun and blood just begins to come out of your nose in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but the power of God is touching you now Amen. hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing someone with a very you are a man you go to ease yourself and you're easing out blood this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus Christ by the mercy of God May the power of God touch you now. Every eye condition be healed now. Every deaf ear in the name of Jesus, I declare that you are open this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone suffering from any bone condition, I decree and declare by the power of the Lord Jesus, let your limbs find strength now. Let your limbs find strength now. There's someone you slept on this side, the left side of your, your shoulder and you've been having excruciating pain. The power of God is touching you right now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me two people your molars if I don't pray for you they will have to extract it because I'm seeing holes already and it's bringing you severe pain around your mouth but by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be a miracle for you now I need to pray for someone I'm seeing a family mourning and I'm seeing someone just passing to glory and this is as a result of cancer father in the name of Jesus Christ because you have revealed this by your mercy and by your grace avert death over this family avert death over this family let me pray for everyone here and those connecting online that has any trace of cancer by this unction in the name of Jesus let cancer die Amen. let cancer die Amen. let cancer die Amen. let cancer die Amen. the Lord is showing me someone you have a condition I think I need to go and read this medical book so that I know the name of these things you have a condition where your blood cells are fighting themselves this is what I'm seeing fighting themselves like a condition where your body fights itself not like there's necessarily an external some it fights itself i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus that tragedy comes to an end now there's someone you are not overweight yet you lose energy the, you can't climb the stair and just the moment you do any work that seems to exhaust you a bit you start breathing there's something wrong with your heart you are not even aware because from what i'm seeing oxygen is not pumping to your body very well and this is deteriorating it's like you have a weak heart in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is may my god give you a brand new heart now every kidney condition be healed now Every liver problem be healed now. Amen. Digestive problems be healed now. Amen. And hear me, anyone under the sound of my voice who has not been able to carry their baby in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is wrong with your body, let it be cleansed and perfected now. Amen. Cleansed and perfected now. Amen. Cleansed and perfected now. Amen in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone something happened to your voice right now you speak you just have to hush you can't speak very loud and clear and you know it looks like you have to hush that's the only way to speak I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus let the healing power of Jesus touch you now in the name of Jesus there is a lady God is showing me um, you have a medical condition that will not allow you give birth and the doctor has discussed it with you there is a name he has given you the Lord is saying I should pray for you and release you from this in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be released now Amen. hallelujah someone is beginning to have a swollen foot you do not even know but your legs are beginning to swell. I'm not a doctor, but I'm hearing in my spirit that this is a problem with your liver. I have to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed now. In fact, God is, God is healing a woman. I'm seeing a woman with excruciating pain around her back here. In Jesus' name, the power of God is touching you now. The power of God is touching you now. Now, there's someone, you are not on this ground, but I need to pray for you. Someone went to give you an injection. And I don't know if, it, maybe it's like they made a mistake. This is two weeks now. You have been limping. 
you have been limping if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that that condition is going to remain like that because something has been touched that should not have been touched but by the mercies of god i decree and declare the god who is the creator of the ends of the earth may he bring perfection to your body in the name of jesus koinonia be healed those following online be healed all the overflows be healed all the hospitals following be healed in the name of jesus neck problems be healed blood problems be healed organ problems be healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, in the name of jesus.